I grew up about three or four miles from this church here in Llanover, which is near Abergavenny, South Wales, but knew nothing about Robert Jermaine Thomas or this church or anything to do with career. I was living in America at the time. I wanted to learn more about the spiritual changes that had occurred in Wales during the Welsh Revival, and that set me on a journey to come back and forth to Wales. One day I was passing this little church, never paid any attention to it, but for some reason was constrained to stop the car and look at this little church. The door was open, I came in, and uh, I thought, this is strange, seeing Korean or Far Eastern tassels on a pulpit, a photograph of a young man, a map of Korea. And then it became a, a journey for me to find out who was this young man. My husband came home from Wales and he said, oh, I've got this really great story and you might want to write about it. So as a writing teacher, I thought, hmm, I, I might like to write about this man, you know, Robert Jermaine Thomas. Robert Jermaine Thomas was born in Ryader, which is a small town in mid Wales. Robert's father, Robert Thomas, had been a minister in Glandor, Swansea. A good number came to Christ under his ministry. He came here in 1847. If you look at the history of this area at that time, it was a time of great upheaval socially. Children, mostly around here, had a very poor life, but Robert's life here in Llanover was very much one of privilege. He was a bright boy, and we think possibly with the support from uh, Lady Llanover, who had established a private school in Llandovery. Robert got to that school when he was about the age of 12 or 13 and matriculated. But even from a young age, his passion was the Bible like his father, because from that pulpit, he preached his first sermon at the age of 17, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today 